Welcome to the lesson on nutrients and balanced diet. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to list the importance of carbohydrates. Identify the importance of fats. Describe the importance of proteins. List the functions of different minerals. And identify the functions of different vitamins. The story begins with Fatiola in the kingdom of Lenin. He is a spy sent by King Desiro of Star Chashin to find out the secret of Lenin's strong army. In order to gain that knowledge, Fatiola soon starts working as an assistant to Pilster, the king's chief medical consultant. He soon starts learning secret behind Lenin's healthy population. Master, what are all these pills and syrups for? These pills and syrup are the secret behind the health of Lianin. How so? These pills and syrups contain nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. How do they help? This pill contains carbohydrates which provides energy to perform various body activities. It is sourced from wheat, rice, potato, sugarcane, mango, melon, bananas and other carbohydrate rich food. Carbohydrate rich? So are these foods protein poor and fat poor? No fatula. It's just that carbohydrate is present in a much larger quantity than other nutrients such as proteins and fats. I like the color of this pill. What does it contain? Fats also provide energy. In fact, they provide more energy than carbohydrates. Hence, they, along with carbohydrates, are called energy-giving foods. Fats are deposited underneath our skin and around the internal organs. It prevents rapid loss of heat from our body into the surroundings, thereby maintaining the temperature of the body. The tissue that stores fat underneath the skin is called the adipose tissue. But which food items contain fats? Edible oil from plants such as sunflower, groundnut, coconut, soybean and mustard contain a lot of fats. Almonds, cashew nuts, milk and milk products such as butter, ghee and cheese and eggs, fish and meat are rich in fat. That's an awful lot of choices. What's this pill for? This one contains proteins used by our body for its growth, repair and replacement of worn out or damaged tissues. But what food items did you use to create this pill? I source proteins from both plant and animal sources like soya bean, peas, gram, beans and green beans, milk, eggs, meat and fish. Food containing proteins is also known as bodybuilding food. This bottle looks interesting. What's in it? It contains minerals required by our body, like iodine, calcium, phosphorus, and iron. Why do our bodies require them, and from where did you obtain them? Well, 
iodine required for mental and physical development is obtained from seafood such as crab and iodized salt. To keep the bones and teeth healthy, our body requires calcium and phosphorus. Calcium also helps in the clotting of blood. Eggs and milk are their richest sources. Phosphorus is also found in bananas and cereals such as wheat and rice. Iron is used for making weapons and utensils. So why does our body need it? Well, our body uses an iron compound called hemoglobin. It is the pigment that gives red color to our blood and transports oxygen to various parts of the body. It is obtained from liver, apples, beetroots and raisins. The liquid looks lovely. The bottle says vitamins. Why is it called vitamins and not vitamin? Well, because it contains vitamin A, B, C, D, E and K. Hmm. And all of them are necessary? Yes. Each plays a special role. Vitamin A keeps your eyes and skin healthy. For instance, vitamin B complex is needed for healthy brain, nerves and muscles. Vitamin C is like a weapon that our body uses to fight diseases like the common cold. Vitamin D is our body's assistant that helps it to use calcium for building bones and teeth. Vitamin E is needed for the normal functioning of the reproductive system. Vitamin K helps during injury by clotting of the blood. Where do you get all these vitamins from? Vitamin A is found in milk, mangoes, pumpkin and carrots amongst others. Vitamin B is sourced from wheat, rice and liver. Vitamin C is found in oranges, tomatoes, lemons and guavas. Rich sources of vitamin D include eggs, fish, milk and butter. Vitamin E is found in corn, nuts, olives and green leafy vegetables. Vitamin K is found in green leafy vegetables like cabbage and spinach. So, you source all the vitamins from food stuff? Yes, marvelous, isn't it? These supplements provide water as well. Water? I can't see any water. Well, these are made from vegetables, cereals and fruits. And all of them contain water. So, your soldiers get water from these pills? They do. They also get water from the liquids that they drink and the water added while preparing food. They also drink plenty of water. What's the need for so much water? It helps the body to get rid of toxic waste in the form of urine and sweat and absorb the nutrients present in food. It helps to maintain the body temperature by sweating. Oh, I never knew water is so important. I thought it only quenched our thirst. These pills also give rough edge. Rough edge? They appear so smooth. Fatiola, I said roughage. That's also known as dietary fiber. It is found in pulses, whole grains, fruits and vegetables. What's the need for roughage? Well, it is needed for the smooth movement of the food in the food canal.
and is also needed for the removal of undigested food from the body. Without enough roughage, removal of waste and undigested food may become difficult. Yikes! How did this idea of pills and syrups come to you? While serving as a doctor in the army, I saw that the soldiers never ate a balanced diet. Balanced diet? What's that? The food that we normally have is known as diet. If your diet is providing all the nutrients required by your body in the correct quantities, then that's called a balanced diet. To have a balanced diet, you need to include vegetables, leafy vegetables, cereals and grains, meat, milk, eggs and fruits in your diet. Something that isn't possible for soldiers. Moreover, many nutrients get lost during washing and cooking. So, what's the solution? Stop washing and cooking? No, but you should wash them. But before they are cut or peeled, pulses like dal and rice should be washed lightly. Or else, some of the vitamins and minerals will get drained away. I've understood how washing can result in the loss of nutrients. But how can cooking cause the loss of nutrients? Well, certain vitamins like vitamin C get destroyed due to heat. Similarly, if you use excess water during cooking and then drain it out, you will also be draining out the nutrients. That's why you should include salads and fruits in your diet. This is such useful information. After a few days, Fatiola returned to Star Chashin land and was well rewarded for the information. Equipped with the information, King Desiru planned an attack on Lienin in six months. He ordered the entire population to have a fat-rich diet. When Fatiola tried to intervene, he was sent on another mission out of kingdom. After six months, when he returned, he found that the population of Star Chashin was suffering from obesity, heart disease and diabetes. This was because the diet had to be customized for people as per their daily routine. King Desiro himself had become obese and had given up his dream of conquering Lenin. Thus, not consuming sufficient amount of nutrients and balanced diet resulted in an unfulfilled dream. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this lesson on nutrients and balanced diet. In this lesson, you have learned to List the importance of carbohydrates. Identify the importance of fats. Describe the importance of proteins. List the functions of different minerals. And identify the functions of different vitamins.